Hello everyone, thanks for watching this video. I'm going to show you quickly how to set up the email in Dynamics 365 Business Central and how to send out a sales order document to your customers. So if you just go up to the top here and you type in SMTP mail setup, that'll pop up there. If you click on that, then you'll have this screen. The first step is to go to process and then apply Office 365 server settings and click yes. Then you'll have this address in the server. The port will be 587, authentication is basic and then you put in the username and password. Um, some people when they do put in the username and password they end up with an error um, and that is, I will show you what that looks like um, and that would, and I'll explain to you why that is as well and then I'll show you how it actually works. So we'll start with the one that could give an error. So once I've typed in the user ID and password, I'll go to actions and I'll hit test email setup and I'll just use the same email and click OK. It shows me on the top left here that the email couldn't be sent. If I click on details, I get this error right here. And one of the reasons that uh, this error could potentially happen is because of the permissions on the email. But most likely it's because this particular instance is a trial instance. And this particular user has the license for the trial instance. You might be wondering, so what do I do if I've got, say, a 30-day trial and I still want to send out emails before actually buying the Business Central? What you could do is use an email that has not been licensed for Business Central trial at all. They do not even have a license for Business Central. So if you click OK, and I'm going to try an email that does not have license in this particular um, instance. So I'll just type in this email that I've just created and then I'll put in the password of the email, then I'll try and test using this one and click OK. You see, test email has been sent successfully and that's because this user does not have a license for Business Central at all. Um, and by that, I mean the trial license. So what will happen is you could use any email address you like in the future if you do buy the, um, you know, get out of the trial and buy the actual subscription. So now that I have that email set up already, I can go into sales and I can go to say sales orders, for example, here. Um, I can create a sales order or I can just click on this sales order, which I've already created before. So if I just go to actions up here, and order confirmation and then hit email confirmation for example that will trigger the email I'll just put in whatever email address I want to then I can use an attachment I can change um, a little bit of the subject etc but if I just click OK this will send out the email with the PDF template and you're all done